Well, 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 what are we up to today? Obviously, this is not any of my cars. It's my dad's truck, and I have a trailer hooked up to the back of it. For those that don't know, I recently traded my S1000 for a Ducati V4S. Well, I have an opportunity to buy back my S1000 as well as keep my Ducati V4S. So that's what we're doing today. I'm also gonna go home after the fact, drop off the S1000, pick up some Ducati parts because I have some parts for the Ducati and install them for you guys. I'm also gonna mock up my helmet, put together the mic and everything because I got my GoPro uh, Hero 11 or something and I got a few other things for it so I could do some moto vlogs for you guys. So right now, I got the truck trailer, gonna pull up to my shop, go grab the shit that I need, and head out to Ducati of Newport Beach, pick up the S1000, and I'll catch up with y'all, man. I'm super stoked because my S1000 was my dream bike, still is my dream bike, and now that I have the opportunity to get it back, makes me super happy. I'm thinking of making the S1000 a track bike, but I haven't fully decided yet. It'd be nice to have the S1000 and the Ducati both for content on the street, but who knows, I have the R6 as my track bike. I do want a S1000 for another track bike just because it's a bigger, faster bike for the bigger tracks that we race on. So we'll see, drop a comment down below. Would you want the S1000 for street and track as well? Or track only, keep it for track, Ducati for the street. The Ducati is not gonna be a track bike, but I will take it on the track here and there. But I have like my R6 as a dedicated track bike. So comment down below. Do you want street content with the S1000 and Ducati? Because if that's the case, I can't just turn the S1000 fully into a track bike. You guys let me know. Comment down below. Today I brought in the S, the S1000. Today I brought in the Ducati V4S to the shop. Rode this today. Did a couple little pulls. You could see the little rash. This is just from the street. A little tiny little chicken strip. Finally riding on the Super Corsa. There is 206 miles on this dash currently. And I gotta say, the 186 limiter thing is not even a fucking limiter. At 186... When it hits 187, it just throws lines. It doesn't show a mile an hour. And I watch my RPM go and keep going and keep going for like a full minute. So this thing goes well over 200 miles an hour from factory. They told me there was no break-in process. Like just go and mob the bitch. I'm going to go grab my things and we're going to go pick up the bike. I also realized I blue balled you guys when I picked up my Ducati. I never gave you guys a sound clip. So today I'll give you the sound clip and everything as I set it up. I got levers and a new uh, windscreen, everything else. I got a bunch of shit for it. I'm still waiting on some stuff to come in, but we'll put on what I have as well as mock up the helmet and I'll give you guys a sound clip. That's my bad. I should have gave it to you. For those that don't know, when you have the Ducati in neutral, it's in two cylinder mode. When you put it in gear, put it in first, second gear, whatever you want, um, it goes in four cylinder mode. So I'm gonna give you a sound clip of two cylinder mode as well as four. But don't forget to follow me on Instagram at DrakePill and also cup your fire ass merch, drakepillperformance.com. The link is in the description. Let's get to getting, bro. Let's go get the S1000. Wow. Also, real quick, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a few days. I recently got out of a six year long relationship. So I've been kind of going through that. Um, I don't know if you could tell. Eyes are kind of poofy. Been teared up a little bit the last few days. Um, six years next month would have been six years with this girl uh high school sweethearts kind of thing but you know things happen and everything happens for a reason so we had split and so i've been dealing with that for you know the last couple of weeks so that's my apologies on why i haven't been posting i've been slacking i've been trying to get myself together you know better myself for the future and focus on myself a little bit do better um i'm using it as an excuse to hit the gym and finally work out. I haven't hit the gym in probably like six to eight months. I've been slacking so hard. So I'm taking advantage of this, but that's why I haven't been uploading. So I apologize. There is a race tonight, which I don't think you guys are seeing this before the race. I think you're seeing it after the race. So it'll be my first time back out for a race or whatever, but um, I'm gonna be back in the content grind. I just been having that personal shit going on and situating myself getting better for myself and uh yeah we're gonna be back on the grind so that's my apologies i was also gonna go to cabo for a week that fell through because there's tsunami hitting it so there's a lot of shit going on right now and uh that's all my bad so we're back on the grind that's my fault stay tuned moto vlogs coming real quick look what i found on my way here an svj yeah Ugh. see if you hear it do something you don't want the smoke well, here we are, Ducati of Newport Beach to get the S1000 back. Oof. Feel me? 
Never thought I would see it again, but here she is. God damn. Looks like they cleaned her up a little bit too. Not as dusty as it was before. I miss this bike, man. He's just gonna grab me the keys. I'm gonna go in, buy it back, and we get the S1000 back, man. Again, comment down below. Do you want this as a track bike only or share it, street and track? And what I mean by that is if we take it on the street, use it as is, and we take it on the track, we take off the mirrors and then just tape up the, uh, the lights and stuff. So I kind of want to use it for street and track, but it's up to you guys. Comment down below, let me know. Oh, fuck. In Laguna Beach, there is a lot of money, bro. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna load up the bike on the trailer, get back to my house, drop it off, grab the Ducati parts and put those on the bike. I'm gonna do a little time lapse for you guys. Forgot to grab the straps, LOLs. Time lapse coming again. Got the bike all strapped down. She is going nowhere. I'm gonna load up the other straps, the ladder or the ramp, go inside, take a piss, wash my hands. We'll be back on the road, drop off the bike. We're gonna Ducati. Just took my piss and we're on the road again. S1000 on the road again. Oh, pussy, pussy. <sighs> on the road again. Well, here we are at home. Got the S1000, the C5, the Scatty Pacquiao. Time to unload this bitch, pack up the Ducati parts, and then we'll get to the shop and modify the Ducati finally. Now, I really want to get an exhaust for the Ducati, but the cheapest options is a slip-on, and they're like just above two grand. They're like 24, 2300 bucks. That's for a fucking slip-on exhaust. You're definitely paying that Ducati premium. But lucky for me, one of my friend's dads has a Ducati V4S just like mine, and he has a, an, uh, a slip-on muffler. So I'm gonna buy that off of him very soon, so look forward to that. I just have to get the tune for it because they do have to tune it. Uh, it doesn't have to be custom, it could be a piggyback or whatever, but that's what we have to do. Look how good the S1000 looks. My God, one of the best looking bikes of all time, hands down. I'm gonna do what I did loading it up, get a time lapse for you guys. We'll get it in and get going. Now that the bike is put away, I have a couple of the Ducati's parts in my car. So I'm gonna grab these, put them in the truck, and we'll go. I got all the parts for the Ducati laid out. Got the fender and laminator kit, frame sliders, brake and clutch levers, lever guards the mirrors, the high-rise uh, windscreen, the phone mount, uh, the GoPro, as well as the media mod and the mic. This is for the helmet, this is for the bike. We're still missing a few things, but they will be here very, very soon to throw on the duck. We're gonna get started with the mirrors and the visor or the windscreen. So let's get right to it. One mirror on, took two seconds. Looks much better than the big bulky one. And it matches with the canards, big solid. And they flip forward like this. Ciao. Both mirrors done. It's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie, but I do like it better than the stocks. I wanna say this is like my preference, just cause it's, I don't know, the, the angle is a little bit off to me. But I mean, it doesn't look bad. It don't look bad. It's better than it was stock. Now we're gonna do the visor, which are these itty bitty tiny Torx bits, which I really hope I have. For the fucking visor, you have to take off the whole front end. So I pulled the mirrors back off, pulled off the front piece, which I have laid back over here. And then now we're gonna throw the new high rise tinted um, windscreen on top of this guy right here. Kind of looks cool like this. What do you think, so rocket like this? Hell yeah. The new windscreen is on. Dude, that shit's steep. Stop moving, stop moving. That shit's steep as fuck, but I like it. There's a little light tint too. <laughs> Do a wheelie. Nate, pick me up. <laughs> pick me up. <laughs> there we go. Visor and front end are back on. 
As you notice, it's super, super tall. It's a steep rise and it has this little flare here to help deflect wind. I got the light tint just because when you duck or when you tuck, you wanna be able to look through. Everybody goes super pitch black and you can't see shit through it. Just like my S1000, you can't really look through it. So this one you can, and it's super steep. I'll try to give you guys a good reference. I like that. Definitely makes the mirrors look a little bit better too. Now we're gonna move on to the brake and clutch levers along with the lever guards. So we'll start now, pull this crap off. I got the stock brake lever off and I got the new brake lever on and these ones flip upward as well as they flip forwards a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Got my little adjustment thing with jig here for the brake light itself. And then I have these maxed out as close as I could be. That's why I keep my fingers tucked. Got the both of the levers on as well as the lever guards for both sides. Kind of like fucking spider legs. I do kind of wish they were more in, but it's because these levers are shorter than factory. So there's a bigger gap because these are meant for stock levers, but it works and they're on. So now we're gonna move on to the, probably the frame sliders, low key. But there you go, here's the clutch, as well as the brake. Very nice, very nice. And the reds are pretty close in color. They're not that far off from each other, thankfully. Just like that, the frame sliders are done. This one surprisingly was easier than the other side. If you look, you kind of remove the bolts to the cases. And so we did this bolt, that second bolt back there, this one and that one up there. Um, you do have to take off the body panel and just kind of pull it back to get some room, as well as tighten down this little sandwich nut, as well as the slider. This side was a little bit more difficult just cause the bolts are one, two, and then three up there. And these don't have much flex. So as you pull them back, they get real tight. But at the end of the day, they're done. So we got the frame sliders, the levers, lever guards, mirrors, and visor done. Sorry, windscreen. Now we're gonna work on doing our fender eliminator kit. Let's get this shit pulled off. The fender eliminator kit is on. I don't really like the fact that the plate is straight up and down because that's gonna give me crop trouble, but it's better than it was before. You kind of have to tear apart your stock fender eliminator whatever the fuck and you have to rebuild this one so you kind of squeeze in the turn signals in as well as you take some of the internals out to put your license plate together and the lights as well same goes for down here everything routes through there's like a little grommet here the other ones go on the sides and that's how it looks i'm not disappointed with it it looks nice i just wish that it showed a little bit more so i don't have any cop trouble but that's definitely gonna be gonna get me pulled over 100 percent the side profile looks really, really good now. The tail is super short, getting rid of that. Whatever the fuck. Now what we're gonna do is set up my phone mount. It looks kind of intricate. I don't know why they don't just send this together already, but we're gonna put this together, so on and so forth. Look how fucking dark and hairy I look. God damn. Oh. Camera not do me justice. I do not look like that. Look at how nice this phone mount is. It's all billet and this mounting point is carbon fiber like actual carbon fiber. This thing is bad ass. And it does come with a little tray on the bottom so you don't scuff it up. Literally says shock proof pads or whatever. So I gotta put one of those on here and then uh, we'll be set. But look at how pretty that looks, bro. <whistles> the bike's all wrapped up. We are now going to move on to doing the helmet setup. So we're gonna put on the GoPro, media mod and the mic. So that is not the helmet I'm gonna use. I think I'm just gonna keep using this one for the vlog setup because I already have the center hooked up to it and it's comfortable. It's a little bit more quiet. That one's very, very loud. And that's the one that I use typically for the track. And you can't have a GoPro on your helmet at the track. So this is gonna be the one that we're gonna mock up with the GoPro. Well, sadly, I can't finish up the GoPro setup on the helmet because this has a weird inward concave to it and the mount that came with the GoPro has the opposite concave as if it was gonna go on like a ball. So I'm not gonna finish setting up today. I have to get some mounts and everything else to make it work. But I promised you guys with a sound clip. So let's get that. Bro, I'm in my car right now, looking back at the video that I last, that you guys just saw, and I didn't get a fucking sound clip, bro. That's my fault. And I also realized I never filled an outro, bro. I'm slacking, bro. There's a lot going on right now. Better way. If you guys enjoy the video, 
like, subscribe. I'm going to get you guys the motor vlogs very soon, so stay tuned. I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.